Hey everybody, so today I'm here to give you another bi-weekly grocery haul. I went over budget, but it is also Thanksgiving coming up, so I had a little bit of an excuse. We also are like completely ran dry of all snacks that we hoarded before Lexi got here, so it was just time to stock up on some stuff. So I spent $220 at Walmart, and then I spent $140 at Aldi, and right now I'm just gonna throw up on the screen what our meal plan is. So there's a look at our meal plan and if you are new here, the grocery night, I just typically do some kind of frozen meal for Mark and I because he feeds the girls while I go and I get all of this. But I did do Walmart grocery pickup and that is what we will start with. So first things first, I needed some sponges and I found that these are the best in comparison to the Lysol ones that I used to love. Some paper plates, and then we've got some diapers for Lexi. She's just now getting into a size two, and then we have some wipes. I am still loving the Hello Bello stuff. I have no complaints. And then we've got some antibacterial soap for the bathroom because it is that season. And then some body wash for myself. They didn't have my usual REM Pure, so I'm gonna try that. And then the dish soap and also my body bottles and pump parts wash as well. And then we've got some corn chips for the chili animal crackers. I need this for a pie that I'm making on Thanksgiving. And then we've got some SpaghettiOs back here, two cans, some ranch, banana peppers for Mark's sandwiches. This looked so big online <laughs> on the app. It looked like a huge container of sea salt. So I'm a little annoyed, but whatever. I needed this for a recipe as well. And then these Hershey's Kisses, I can never say no to the Cherry Cordial, I think is what they're called. And they are so good. I don't even really like chocolate covered cherries normally, but these are delicious. And then I also got some mini chips for a, another recipe. I got a couple of things of macaroni and cheese per request from Remy. And then we've got some of the Annie's Cookie Dough Bars that the girls love. These are actually really great. I've been eating them. I got them for the kids and they didn't really want them, so I ate them. <laughs> and then my kind bars that I have been loving. Honestly, I use these as breakfast because with three kids in the morning, if it literally doesn't happen within 10 seconds, I will not eat a breakfast. So then I got the Lara bars. These ones are really good. They just came back in stock. They were gone forever. And then these kind granola bars as well and then some angel hair pasta all the way back here. So then we've got the meat for Mark sandwiches, salami and pepperoni. This is one of the substitutions that I got. I ordered the smaller whipping cream. They gave me the bigger one and that's for a recipe. Same with the buttermilk. I just wanted the quart, but they gave me the half gallon. I've got some pie crust because I do not have time for that this Thanksgiving. And then I got three almond milks, just showing you one. And then I got two of the girls Chobani Greek yogurt back here. And the lettuce situation is another substitute that both Mark and I cannot figure out. So I ordered just one package of the romaine hearts for our salads. And I got two plus a head of lettuce. It says it on the app, it was intentional. It wasn't a mistake and I don't really know what happened. It looks that the, like these were picked from the farm on the 15th and it's now the 23rd. So they're pretty fresh. They don't look expired. They don't look bad at all or anything. I really don't know what's going on there. But either way, we have a ton of lettuce. So there's that. And then I've got some of the whole carrots for that board. I'm going to cut that up. Cucumbers for that board. And also carrots for Mark's lunch. And then all the way underneath here, I have pork chops. Oh, if I can do this without dropping anything. There we go. These have been working out really well for us. There's the brand. You can see it through that plastic bag. I've gotten them quite a few times. I use them in my Vortex and they've turned out really great. And then for some freezer stuff, we've got the girls chicken tenders. They've really been liking those for lunch. And then some waffle fries, Mark's pizza pockets or pizza rolls, whatever they're called. The girls waffles and then over here from Aldi like I said I spent 140 so first thing these got me <laughs> and the cashier said that they were delicious so I have a feeling 
this isn't going to be the last time you're going to see these. So there's that. And then I got some of these buns. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. Some marinara sauce and then steak seasoning, some applesauce. And then this is the granola. The girls love this granola. They rave about it. It's got little pieces of banana chips in it. And I love that it was whole grain. Also, no high fructose high fructose corn syrup and other stuff so that's awesome all the way back here i did notice this was new at my aldi's it looks like some white cheddar popcorn and it was pretty cheap too i got some waffle cones for a recipe Let's see i just kind of have stuff shoved in here as it would fit some banana chips for that board dinner pretzel chips for that board dinner croutons sandwich thins for mark regular buns for the manwiches and then some powdered sugar all the way down there at the bottom. And then I got the girls their fruit rounds, like basically fruit loops. And then two boxes of Clubhouse crackers, one of which I broke into while I was waiting for my Walmart grocery pickup. And then I got some pancake mix. We tried their protein pancake mix. And guys, I am not a fan. Neither is Mark. The girls are. They did not bat an eye at it. But to us, it smelled like dog food and it tasted worse than dog food. But anyways... We are just going to go with the regular pancake mix to recover from that. And then I got the girls their bread. This is really great. If you are in Aldi, it's not too expensive compared to the other breads kind of like it. I would highly recommend it. My kids really like it. And then I've got some sea salt and caramel chips. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I'm going to save them for Christmas. And then I've got some chopped pecans and just the other half of the bag of powdered sugar down there. And then I've got some tomatoes, a couple things of blueberries. They were on sale at our Aldi. And then some dried fruit for that board dinner. And then I also got some coffee because anymore when I leave my house, I end up getting a coffee from somewhere. So I'm just trying to make my own now, but I'm gonna see how this goes. And then I've got some ketchup. I believe this is sloppy Joe mix down here, yep. And then this is a seasonal thing as well at my Aldi. It's the baking spray. And I heard some really great things about this as well. I got some fake Parmesan shaker cheese because my kids won't eat actual Parmesan. They'll only eat the sawdust version. So there's that. And then some ricotta cheese. And then these crackers for that board dinner. Uh, Mark some cinnamon toast crunch myself this honey crunch and oats it's so good i've had that before delicious and then i got three of these coffee creamers because i am obsessed guys this is so good i wanted one for thanksgiving when everybody comes over but i also wanted to keep a couple for myself because it is seasonal and i don't know what i'm gonna do without it it is so so good and then I got myself one of my orange drinks because that was the only one left and I grabbed it. <laughs> and then I got this little salad mix thing, um, some peppers for that board dinner, a couple things of French onion dip. This is delicious, but we don't use it normally for chips. We normally dip vegetables in it or pretzels and so good. I think I already mentioned the ketchup, so there's that. And then I got some eggs love all the eggs and then a couple things of turkey breast i take this in some sliced cheese wrap it up and that's my lunch <laughs> and then some chicken breast this has been working out great for our chicken salads we just put this in the vortex and it's been awesome we've really enjoyed it and mark makes it super delicious too with his own little seasonings and then i got mark some regular milk for his cereal i got these kind of chicken breasts the chicken parmesan sandwiches and we're gonna see how that goes over then i got some steak fries i wanted to see if these were better than walmart's i got some blackberries and some raspberries and then i got some mozzarella cheese for those sandwiches and then i got some monster cheese for myself to wrap the turkey up in a couple things of uh pepper jack cheese and then i think there's one of cheddar under there for recipes this is also for that board dinner some summer sausage i'm looking forward to that i haven't had that in such a long time and then i got a couple things of butter the other one's right there because they were on sale and then there's some cream cheese and then also kind of their version of the Kerrygold butter but it's like spreadable and it's softer and then i also did get three bunches of bananas 
two pineapples and a bag of pears and one bag of apples and that was everything that costed around $140 from Aldi. So like I said, I'm about $60 over budget but there's a ton of snacks here that will last us a while. There's also a lot of Thanksgiving recipes tied up in here. But that is everything for my grocery haul. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.